Welcome to the show, Anita. <laughs> Thank you. She said she's going to go to the gym after this. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I will be going to meet them shortly after this program. All right. Sure. Um, okay. Well, this is Anita, Anita Prasad. And of course, she is um, a Fiji born New Zealand singer. And Anita has just launched her music career. And uh, we now join her to tell us well, good morning mm. to you. How was the wake up this morning? Not oh too my bad? God. It was good. I was so excited. And plus, like, the weather was quite amazing. Actually, it is raining, but it is quite warm because yeah. Auckland is in its winter. Right. Yeah, so I really enjoyed it. it for us, it's cool. Good, yeah. For us, it's cool and it's really cold. But mm. for you, it's like, it's, oh, it's, it's warm. It was quite warm and I love it. <laughs> um, and I like to say, good morning, Bula. Welcome. And uh, sorry, good morning, Bula. Ni hao. And namaste, Fiji. Well. And thank you for having me on this show. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure. Well, Anita, you've got quite a remarkable um, story to tell us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to Anita earlier on. Now, Anita used to work here. She used to, yeah, oh, and yes, of course, yes. Fiji I have been yeah. And now yeah. you've actually gone to uh, to New Zealand mm -hmm. and uh, launched yourself into your music career. But tell us a little bit about your beginnings of. Um, uh, this great move mm -hmm. from having an accounting background, major <laughs> leap here, into the music, you know, to the music scene. Tell us about, tell, tell okay. us about you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I am born and brought up in Fiji, mm -hmm. and I, my mom is from Watuanga, from Nandara Street, and my dad is from Samabula, from Bureta Street, and they were the love beds <laughs> during their time, and we resided. My parents they bought their property in Nine Miles, that right. is developer housing, so mm -hmm. that's where we have been living. So my childhood primary school and high school was at Ponydal Memorial School and then Ponydal Ara College. Mm -hmm. After completing my Form Seven, and then I went to University of the South Pacific, mm -hmm. where I was doing my bachelor's in accounting and management, mm -hmm. and. And at the same time, I was working for Compaq, which was part of Fiji TV. And later on, I was seconded to Fiji TV. And I was really enjoying my journey here. And then it did happen that I migrated to New Zealand seven years ago. Right. So that was the last company that yeah. I worked with yeah. was Fiji TV. And yeah. it was quite a very good experience. Yeah. So when I went to New Zealand, I migrated permanently. And I pursued my further education that was in accounting and management and graduated from Oakland University in accounting and management. And currently, I am an accountant at one of these ID company called TSI Group. So <laughs> I am their software accountant. But coming back to this singing industry, so what happened was that um, music accounting is my field that I totally love, and right. I'm in this field for the last 10 years. And at the same time, I was involved with so many co curricular activities. Mm -hmm. Music was my passion. So, as we all know, everybody in this world, like <laughs> in life, you must have entertainment. Yeah. So, I grew up with music and music. It was all Bollywood, Hollywood combination of yeah. everything. And uh, apart from that, when I went to New Zealand, I started taking part in these beauty pageants and catwalk and modeling. Mm. So, wow. through that, I was given this opportunity to represent New Zealand in one of these beauty pageants called Uni United Nations tourism mm. which was held in Kingston Jamaica right. so I represented New Zealand competed with 22 different countries mm. and I was awarded with two titles so the first one was people's choice ambassador right. and the second was miss best personality award so the time when I was returning back we had a stop over at Miami and there were this music video they were shooting, and it was for Shaggy's uh, music video. And I was quite happy and excited that, hey, I'll <laughs> go there and I'll be there, part of it, because we were given that opportunity. Hmm. But later uh, at the end, I couldn't make it to that. Hmm. So I was talking to the producers, and I said, hey, I want to be doing something in hmm. music side. Hmm. And they were quite supportive, and they told me, yes, welcome abroad, but you have to show us what exactly you want. Hmm. So with that mindset, when I came back to New Zealand, it was like, I want to sing, I want to sing. And then I joined this singing school, which right. is called ABC Studio. And it was way back in the year 2012. So the time when I go to my singing school, I am so much inspired by Pitbull and Jello. So I wow. was like, oh my God, I listened to this song, <laughs> their lyrics, their type of songs. And then I started writing my own song. And then I told my singing teacher, I want to do this. And then he goes like, do you know how exactly you want to sing and I was like you know Pitbull you know Jello I'm into that and I want that <laughs> so they just really helped me out with it and it did work well and apart from that the time when I was totally done hey that I was confident enough that yeah. I could do it so I approached this composing company called the sound room which is based right. in Auckland yeah so they helped me out in composing my song and mm. that's how we compiled everything and it is quite a great song a catchy song and a lovely song that 
my viewers gonna totally love it. Oh, it's, wow. it's a party song actually. Okay. And what's the name? What's the name? The, the name title of the song? song is "Let's Do It." Oh. Yeah. So it is a party song. Basically, um, the aim of the song, I am targeting our young generation. Right. I am targeting people who are already in the Western world or who are moving towards the Western world. Mm. So it is like that song itself is telling about a girl who is very happy in her life. Mm -hmm. So she is walking on the beach, she has got something in her mind and then she's just talking about it. Later on she goes and meets her friends, mix and mingle with them. Right. And after that she goes into her passion, what she's all about, whereby she goes into catwalk and modeling and she does a little bit of catwalk and all this crazy <laughs> stuff on the set. So that's what exactly the song is about. <laughs> You're on a roll. I mean, Anita, you know, you you probably, you know, this morning a lot of young people are watching this morning breakfast mm -hmm. in Fiji. We're not only here in the in Fiji, but in the mm -hmm. Pacific as well. And your story, being an accountant and having <laughs> that passion for music and making that break mm -hmm. right now, uh, you know, would be such an inspiration. Now, That's so you true. are actually you've got further plans. Tell us about mm -hmm. your plans in the pipeline. You mentioned Miami, but after all of this, where does this lead you? Okay, just today I will be finalizing my deal with this um, music band. It's a Fijian music band called Black Rose and currently they are known as Rosilla. So after this, um, and later today I'm meeting with them right. and we are collaborating. So they're collaborating in my song. Okay. So we are doing something big shortly and by end of this year. Wow, you so heard it right here on breakfast. Yes, <laughs> you heard me and make sure you listen to us and support us at the same time. So it is an English song and a mix right. of Fijian lyrics. Okay. So it's all mixed together as one. So my main perspective is that I believe in cultural diversity and globalization. Mm. So my focus is to connect people with one universe which is called music. I want to touch people's heart through that one language, which is music that could be sang in any genre, any lyric, by any nation or anything. So that's my break point. Mm. So apart from that, I am doing another collaboration with one of these label, record label company called right. Friday. Yeah. And they are based in France. Okay. So it is a lineup. As soon as finishing off with Black Rose, mm -hmm. I'm going back to them. And straight after releasing that, my album, the few four songs will be recorded in America. Mm. So basically, my album will be released somewhere in New Zealand in America, but all the recordings after that will be done in America. So it is a huge plan. It is a very, very difficult, huge decision that I have made. Yes. But it is very exciting mm. because every day I'm learning something new. It is like coming mm. out from accounting, going into this music industry towards the entertainment side. It's a very huge transition. Mm. And to be and honest... not an easy one as well. No, no, it is not easy. <laughs> it is really such a hard work. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you to my parents for mm. really understanding me and taking me out there because behind my success it is my parents and my three sisters who are watching me right now in New Zealand. <laughs> Hi family, I love you all and I'd like to say thank you to all of my school friends and uni friends here in Fiji. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching me and just support as well. <laughs> well Anita, we wish you well and we thank know you. that now you've done uh, some singles but of course mm -hmm. the album you can look out for when Anita comes back from America because that's, that's when where she's going to go and mm -hmm. you know um, actually get that album going yeah? so we can have a little bit you know can yeah. hear about uh, hear definitely the song I'll that she's come got. back again I'll yeah. come back again <laughs> <laughs> well thank you very much Anita thank for you. visiting us on breakfast at Fiji One and sharing your story and your <laughs> talent with us and of course we're looking forward to more thank you thank you for having me on your show thank you thank very you. much Anita well stay with us and we come back after the break we've got uh, Fashion Friday yay